that something like this happens because they haven't recognized. So what? Fu- a, a big shame on him for fucking cheating. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it was pretty, <laughs> pretty awful yeah, to yeah. see this. The needles get out of the record. <laughs> it makes you wonder. Killer, killer, podcast. Killer, killer, official. dot com. THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label, organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton, and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Killer podcast sponsor, celebrating music, social activism, hemp, and street culture. THTC, eco fashion redefined since 1999. Beatbox created. Killer Killer. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast in, in Copenhagen, Denmark for your sins. And uh, wow, I'm here with a friend of mine, which wow, is pushing on about 20 plus years we've known each other. Yeah, at least. <laughs> at least. At least 20 years. So, you know, but who's counting when time flies? This is DMC champion, what, th- what, third in the world of 45 collectors and sellers record old school vinyl and more the dusty donuts the producer the friend of mine the mighty mark hype from berlin yeah thanks for inviting <laughs> yeah and our little hotel room here in copenhagen yeah it bro. looks perfect <laughs> i was gonna say pretty well for, done <laughs> yeah yeah I was going to say thanks for coming over, but you, you were already. <laughs> I'm also not from Copenhagen. We are here on a gig together. <laughs> that's right. In a long time, mm. and in the pandemic, that's yeah. that's double crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's double crazy. Uh, we would, we've been talking about this quite a bit since we connected. Yeah, of course. It's actually it's insane to think that um, time is changing so quickly, and and this this world that like. At the start of the year, you would have never thought that we would be in this particular time in our no, lives. No, not at all. <laughs> you know? So there were things happening in China, but mm, on the scale just widened fast. And mm. then in the beginning, nobody would mm-hmm. think of that. It, like, yeah. the impact would be that big. Yeah. Like, and now we are <laughs> yeah. basically like, all in the dog. same boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, did you feel like the, 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 the playing field, the, the, the benchmark is, we, we're all on a same level now so if you're yeah, almost I mean you know, nobody can like they can travel if they want to okay not everyone to everywhere but mm. but there's no money to be made to, mm. to they will not the big let's say big names will not get booked anymore mm. like at least not on a big scale mm. so there will be not much left for the bigger scales and I think everything will be going local for the first because mm. that's you have your people there they're good people. They, they will yeah. show and prove what what they did before. Yeah, yeah. So the people will recognize that that their own people, they they in their own cities, mm. they are really good actually. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's all levels. they get now, anyway. Yeah, and <laughs> if some things open up at some point. Yeah, because that's the thing as well. Like, it's almost like a time to re stock on your skills. Yeah, also, yeah. and new skills you need. Yeah. Your video editor now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a video co- content creator. I'm a streaming god. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, because you do, you, you know, the, and and working to the climate, you you stream now. You, you do stuff on Twitch too, right? This yeah, is, I mean, it's like it's all the just the different portals where you can stream to, but the streaming itself is a um, is a little bit. It's not a complete science, but still, it's um, you need to get your you know improvements on your your experience mm. make your mistakes at the beginning and and also there's like like it felt like every week a new software ca- coming out like mm. everyone giving new input like yeah. rather it like getting not booted out by by i don't know instagram and facebook or like getting getting multiple streams for cost free and there's so much yeah, yeah. stuff happening right now on the streaming market it's like pretty pretty also like bigger companies like Mixcloud directly went after I think two months mm-hmm. they opened up their video streaming on Mixcloud which is basically just straight audio yeah yeah that's so insane isn't it when stuff like that happened pretty fast yeah yeah and yeah. still developing yeah um, what's the other one? There's a oh man, there's so there's Twitch and then there's there's another one. I forget the name. But there's of. a lot of game on platforms like Mixar. That and taking that and migrate. People are migrating to that as well, aren't they? Like DJs. 
Yeah, right now it's Twitch because Twitch um, let you stream without booting out, but afterwards it's getting muted because they have to because of the mm -hmm. sync rights. Mm -hmm. Same as with YouTube or Facebook and Instagram. So the only safe version is right now it's Mixcloud mm -hmm. because they, I think that there's this thing in the law, international law act, that you can stream because it's not um, replayable. Uh, if it's replayable with video and the audio, then it, it's the, the sync rights coming <laughs> in, and then then it's this is forbidden. That's why you have to mute. So it's, it's it's usually it's on Facebook and on Twitch it's muted afterwards, yeah. at least partial. Yeah, I I I feel like see this this as as we can tell we're dealing with someone that's you know that's in the in the game here where this is concerned, <laughs> as we all are. But your music, right? So you've got these two these two parallels with Mark hype, right? There's the DMC champion, you know, Dusty Donut 45's collector and seller. Um, and then there's the, the Mark hype that is dealing in the like upfront of like tech and live stream and, and uh, you know, what is published, what is sync rights, what is, you know, all these different areas of, of social media. I mean, media. the thing was like when this all happened, then was the next idea was how to stay visible. Yeah. Not necessarily relevant because I have different versions of relevant. I think I don't need to play music for young kids. Actually, I, pl I rather play music for mature people. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I mean relevant is a different term to to work out. But but definitely to stay visible mm -hmm. in in your lane or with your people. Yeah. And yeah, and then, and then streaming started, and it, it was. A, very interesting evolution because in the beginning everybody just put their phone near the speakers. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> that yeah, was yeah. like the first two weeks. It was like it was like a, it was like a, 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 a. Then the next step was direct audio. Yeah. Yeah, that was for the, then the programs. They were already all there. Mm. All the gamers used it for years, mm -mm. decades possibly. Mm -mm. So we all had to look how the gamers seen working, how they doing it, yeah, yeah. and then adapting like. Learning programs like OBS, Streamlab OBS, yes, and, for sure, for and sure. all that stuff, and then all those little tricky things with the frame rates and yeah, <laughs> like yeah. Oh my god, and trying to level key, up. Um, That's a nightmare. Uh, I just, yeah, I mean, because you can go through like eight to ten uh, mixes or shows or you know um, recordings and still not get it right, and you're just like, what the <laughs> fuck? Man? And then you have to watch YouTube videos all the time. <laughs> I like to read and reread things so to get it done, like like not necessarily manuals, but you know people. <laughs> The best guy to do so, blah. But yeah. what they all doing is fucking YouTube videos. They always have to watch some twenty something <laughs> and yeah. younger to, to explain you how yeah, all yeah. this works. And I kind of love it's that. Weird. That is weird, but I do love it. I love the fact that nowadays it's 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 the the, the grab of information. Your teachers used to be older. Yeah. At school. Yeah. Now it's just you know, like it's the opposite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, complete opposite. And also a lot of times, no age cares. It doesn't really matter. Like you, this could be in 2010, 2015, 2018, even in 2020. If you find the thing you're looking for, yeah. boom. You and know? You, you'll find everything. Yeah. There's almost no problem that not could be solved. And yeah. <laughs> if, it's, if it's not on YouTube, there's no problem. <laughs> for sure, for sure. It's it's like the new university. <laughs> yeah, it's YouTube University. Yeah. The bad part is now uh, the university became a, a different term too, law for all conspiracy theories. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So, but still, I like it to in a positive way to have the YouTube University. <laughs> you will find your shit there. Yeah, for sure. Um, from a tech point of view, well, actually, no. Let's get more into the sync side of things because yeah. you know we. We hear these horror stories of like people doing these mixes for an hour on yeah. Facebook, and all of a sudden they're never allowed to see it again. And from a from an artist point of view, if you're trying to get out there, like you say, visibility, yeah, like I mean that's that's fucked up. And but at the same time, I kind of get it. I understand that yeah. there has to be money made, and it can't all be free for people. Basically, you're just playing other people's music. Yeah, they are playing maybe in a very artistic way. Mm. And in a way that they are system relevant, even to people, they are locked down at home. Mm. But still, there's the fucking loss. There's the yeah. big major companies, they want to have their penny. Mm, yeah. Do you think like that's... Because there's a lot of people... There, there's new DJs that I think are coming on Facebook and they, they, they actually don't even see themselves as DJs. They, they're young guys that... Older guys, they're people that just want to play music to feel connected to their friends on Facebook and, get, you know, build an atmosphere and a vibe that brings people together. And, and music does that. Of course. The innocence of that 
and then for them to suddenly discover that after five minutes they've been dropped off air, <laughs> you know that. Yeah, because they played the biggest hit just around. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Like I said, Mixcloud is the only one who can give you this um, guarantee to mm -hmm. stay in. I mean, Twitch does too, but just in the stream itself. The point is the sync rights is like if you're putting, let's say, a movie out and just putting music in that you haven't licensed, mm. the lawyer of, mm. of the artist will stand in front of your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and the same is if you're streaming, this is your movie, the stream, mm. it's video. And you're putting music that you uh, doesn't belong to you. Mm. So, and then the lawyers would usually stand there, but there's already like agreements for them, platforms like Twitch. YouTube, Facebook. So they're booting out either way before. That's what usually Facebook and Instagram does. Mm. Or like Twitch let it run through the stream and afterwards it's about a replay mm. that you can't replay it yep. with the video. That's a good part on Mixcloud. It's totally legal because Mixcloud got the British radio license. So they let them stream through. But they're saving just the audio file after because they just have the audio radio license, yeah. not with the video. That's a single right thing. But that's a master stroke from Mixcloud's That's a really good yeah. idea from from Mixcloud because to take to, to get that license that that essentially empowers everybody that puts stuff on Mixcloud yeah. to be the DJ of their radio show. Yeah, essentially. Uh, Giles Peterson's um, worldwide radio is completely on Mixcloud, running over it. That's amazing. For example, and yeah. you know he's twenty four hours with yeah. all those people on the planet. He's yeah. doing working together. It's yeah. like it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. There's um, I think it's DJ Riz. The the old school the old school hip hop. Funkmaster Flex, yeah, yeah, like eras of yeah, yeah, from Brooklyn. I know. Oh, bro, like I, I love that on Mixcloud. But we were saying that Mixcloud doesn't often get the praise that it's due, and it's really strange actually that people go to the 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 more social media platforms and they expect the same results from Mixcloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't happen. The average guy doesn't care about sync rights, of course. No, no. <laughs> so the 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 yeah. The main thing right now is to get people somehow on Twitch, which is kind of like working better now. Mm -hmm. There's now like this movement, Twitch fam, hashtag Twitch fam, a lot of people using. Mm. So a lot of people checking it. Okay, on Twitch, the stream's running through and you can enjoy mm. the DJ of my choice, whatever. You can also put the donation buttons in and stuff like that. Oh, that's it. So, so how, does, um, how do you publicize yourself on Twitch? Do, do Twitch, uh, do, do they support like the sharing? How does, how does it work with that's Twitch? That's a crazy point. I haven't taken too much notice on it because yeah. I still. The problem is that still the average guy doesn't care about where Twitch, it is. Yeah. He wants to have delivered his life now. Yeah, like on Facebook or Instagram, this is working really well. I mean, the view accounts went down anyways, but it's it's easy to reach on the standard social media platforms where everybody's on. Mm. So you have to somehow get your people there yeah. to Twitch or to Mixclose even worse. Mm. But that's the good part is that there's that all those crippled sets on Instagram and Facebook so people recognize now Twitch. I think it's because of the Americans mm. that uh, most of them yeah. uh, and, and really popularized And the Twitch. gamers as well, the gamers. Of yeah, the gamers were before, it was gamers. Mm. But now it's like for people who really enjoy DJ sets to, to yeah. at home for, I don't know, just instead of listening to radio, listening mm. to a live DJ. Yeah. Um, And yeah, and then, then that's uh, Twitch is right now, it's big, kind of. The problem is, I don't know how long, because mm. everything is constantly changing. Yeah, I know. For right now, I mean, it was always there since the madness began, but now it became bigger than because Instagram and Facebook never changed anything, mm. because they couldn't. Yeah. Also, you have to say, but they they couldn't. They're they're juggernauts, and they can't just turn around so quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course not. Otherwise, yeah. they had to pay for something that they yeah. don't want to pay, and even possibly couldn't because of so many people streaming. Yeah, or you could pay all those licenses. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, impossible. yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. There's no uh, structure for it. There's no structure for it. They're a pub. They're, they're publishers essentially. Yeah, yeah, actually. You know? Yeah, and they, they can't. True. They can only do what they can do, and then and if they haven't got it in place, then then they're fucked. You know, they're fucked. Um, so you do a live stream show. Was it bi-weekly? Did you say with? I mean, in the beginning, I did a weekly, and I did. Um, it wasn't actually like a show. I did do another one. Yeah. Well, you mean Wednesdays and Wednesdays? That's right. Oh, Wednesdays right. And Wednesdays. The other one was just DJ streams with different genres. I did on all on forty five to show my range mm. and basically to be visible and. Instead of playing stuff you play in a club, for mm. example, you don't need to do that on a live stream because it's not a feeling of a club. It's more 
show people diverse music. Yeah. And, and different styles. And then also, like, from the genres, they know songs they usually don't play in the club or stuff mm -hmm. like that. But Wednesdays and Wax is different. It's from um, Dusty Donuts, from our label. And crew, it's like we, we thought about, okay. It's crazy that nobody was thinking about before the pandemic. That's also stupid. Now yeah. I think this, this is one of the positive effects that it changed a lot. Because everyone's panicking about it. And then they. Yes, yeah, not only they're panicking, but it's like, okay, we need different concepts now to be visible or whatever, uh, to just do something. Mm. And. And now it's so much streaming interviews, like on Instagram, it became big. Yeah. Like the sc split screen thing, like Versus, for example. Yeah. It's huge. But they, they're using huge stars, of course. Yeah. So we're doing it in a very slow, <laughs> smaller scale. We ruined like the yeah, 45 hip hop, funk, soul scene. Mm -hmm. And then interviewing like people. Uh, it's, it's more like a talk show. It's not, it's not really interviewing. We're interviewing a bit in the beginning, but usually it's like we're playing each seven. Seven, mm -hmm. seven records to each other and then talking about stories, life stories behind it or like stories of the record. That's so Who sick. sampled that or all that. We go on the direct audio. We started with the Instagram thing. We really like worked it out with, with cables. Mm -hmm. with, in the end, we had the perfect solution, but it was too stressful to install. But we had through Skype, through Yellow Dark, through OBS and then yeah, yeah, on yeah. Instagram with two screens, with logos on, through the flux and direct capacitor. sound. <laughs> it looked like a professional show on, on Instagram. No, I get it. But still, it's but like... But you got it to the best level. And like yeah. you say, after, is the juice worth the squeeze after like all That's of that? That's the point. It's not that you don't make money with it, but it's like Instagram still throws you out or you can't save it in the end when it throws you out. Or it's like, yeah. So we decided to go with StreamYard now, which is like... Mm -hmm. uh, um, Vertical, no, not horizontal format, and that, that's that's on Facebook and uh, Twitch then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So and then, I mean, I mean there's, there's a specific scene to it, so they follow it. So, so it was just that everybody was used to have those interviews on their mm -hmm. phone and Instagram. Mm -hmm. and, but yeah, it's, I think it's better for for in the long run. It's definitely better to have it like on a safe harbor, and, and that that we that's why we're choosing. Not to go on Instagram anymore yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for that. It's just unstable, and and, and also it's got, there's a lot going on. That, you yeah. know, you 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 can't cut through the noise all the time. I remember the first, maybe like the first within the first month of you know people. I think Premiere and RZA had their. Yeah, yeah it was the first. Yeah, yeah. I would, I, there were a few more yeah. like Timberland and that's it. Yeah, uh, and Swiss Beats because they founded that. Yeah, versus thing. So and then a few more like this, like. Four, five, I think. Yeah. And then was the premiere reserve one. That's yeah. the first time I recognized them. Yeah, and that was huge. That was also like two hundred thousand at this point. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, crazy. That was for this time. It was like, what the fuck happened mm, yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. And, and and I was there watching the whole thing. And too. who was all in there? Yeah, yeah. In the shed, crazy. like all those names you saw, like basically a whole record shelf was in there. Yeah, <laughs> and then like young and guys, new guys, other. old girls, like you know what I mean like everyone. Yeah. Like, I saw like people like. Rihanna and everybody, Fabri Freddy, everybody was in there. Yeah. It was crazy. It was like this was a crazy night. But directly after that, when you looked in the top bar of your stories, every single person was live. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It, it yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy. Absolute. Now it's still it's, it's, everything is pink. Yeah, yeah everything's pink. <laughs> pink rings now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's few. I mean, big shout out DJ Lord because I do love checking out his mixes. Mr. Thing all day. You know, these people are selectors in yeah, in the art absolute. of like street culture and music. They, you know, they they switch lanes in all sorts of genres, still keeping it. They're selectors, man. They 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 are selectors, um, and you fall into that category. Yeah, I think I think because you're old enough and went yeah. through all the decades yeah. and listened basically to a lot of music and understand music yeah, yeah. In, a, in a way. Yeah. Do you um do do you, in the on the subject of selection and like how you're how you're able to um, move a crowd and move what your policy is in in sounds and and tracks do you do you feel like now would is the best time for that as a dj on live stream i mean you can do this and it's 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 worth it because yeah. then people probably learn and, and understand why you can do better because <laughs> mm. in a club they have this with their, with their friends and they just want to have this good time which is totally it is what it is. It's yeah. totally that what it is. Yeah. But if we're there doing experiments, mm. <laughs> and then, you know, like, then this, this group thing break away, so nobody wants that. And yeah. they're going to another one where everybody listens to the same 
Or some people can say, okay, they like just what they know from the, from the radio. I like more, but I stay with them because at this time I want to just have a good time with them. Yeah, so yeah. I don't care that there's. That's I can right. listen at home. My my more radical stuff yeah, in yeah, this yeah. case. So, but now with the streaming thing, you don't go out. Mm. <laughs> you, you watch at home. Do you think that damages a, a DJ? Like, do you think it damages their credentials of like going to a club after all of this has happened, knowing that they've been exposed so much? I mean that uh, in the club they're doing again like the hits. Mm. And, I don't think so. I think people forgetting fast. <laughs> you yeah. know, like yeah, true. It, it's more about to getting more people into different kind of good music. Mm. I think that that's that's the main point. And then probably a bigger audience opens for more stuff, mm. for, for more diverse music. So I think that's that's the main point. And that can you do now with the live streaming, and you couldn't do too much before in clubs. So what you're saying is, and I kind of, I'm kind of getting this, is your th to be on social media means that you're friend farming, your audience farming, yeah, you're trying to bring also, people, yeah. which you wouldn't do if you were in a 300 capacity venue. That's true. You'd be getting paid though. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about it's a switch. It's just of that course. it's that short term switch that brings people to your show next time. And then you probably can do some other stuff. I mean, mm. I'm also different. Mm. I, I'm not doing this commercial club thing. Mm. Never did. No, no. So, but still, it's good that somebody's doing it like yeah. li on the live streams. That you know, because in the beginning, I, I saw so many DJs doing exactly their club sets because mm. that's what they had sorted out that they were like familiar with and used to. And yeah. but a lot of people were like, "Yeah, but that's not feeling like a club because I'm sitting at home and eating my nachos." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got to be doing something that works right. to that, and also interesting mm. concepts like this interview thing. Mm. So it's, it's, it's mm. more entertaining instead of just playing a club set in a mm. non-club environment, yeah. which is basically your home view. You. Yeah. Everything's a lot more raw. You've got to... Yeah, also. People can hear your faults and mistakes more because... it's Yeah, because <laughs> they're watching directly yeah. all the time yeah. on you. In a club, they're not necessarily watching the DJ all the time. No. They're, they're pretty much <laughs> with their own. It's live, so you can make yeah. mistakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, at the end, it sounds different. When it's actually very loud, and then there's like all this dynamics around you, and yeah. it's, it's different. Um, your senses are working mm. different in a club than instead of in front of a big TV screen. Mm. And, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on the Chromecast, and then putting on a big flat screen, mm. and, and then you see like this guy at home mm. trying to play his soul <laughs> out, you know. But as a DJ champion, but, and it's live. Then that's the point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you don't have like no feedback. No, I mean you can no, that's probably thing, read some comments and shit. But you switch off and that's it, and you're back into your room, and there's no response. Yeah, yeah. that's nothing. <laughs> um, as a DJ, the, the champion, camera is your buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude, I get uh, my friend Anthony. Actually, while, while we're on this subject, my friend Anthony, he, uh, he's, you know, he he was going through it on his own in his house, and he he got a DJ mixer and he was like started doing like Zoom style DJ mm. plays and then he had this idea of like yo I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do like themed parties right where you know this will help my mental state this will help my friend's mental yeah. states and you know we'll have a Batman themed yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. he got all dressed up with the Batman gear right and he's playing these tunes and like it's like for an hour or something yeah, and yeah. all of his friends are online everyone's having a party slowly getting drunk mix 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 and then he finishes right see you later guys zooms off He's standing there in his room on his own, drunk, wearing a Batman's <laughs> outfit. <laughs> and it killed me when he told me. But the like, party is a really nice idea, for example. <laughs> That's something that makes more fun because the yeah. people then at home have something to do. Yeah, yeah. They dress up like for whatever theme. Yeah, that, yeah. That's one of what I mean. It's like you have to do in the live streams, you have to come with some more interesting concepts instead yeah. of just playing a club set and, up. and drink to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to switch up and work out. Yeah, yeah. But um, as I was coming to, uh, as a DMC champion, as a DJ champion, um, when we talk about that live experience and the way that that uh, back in the day was i mean this guy's a fucking og this guy's a dj <laughs> legend a legacy for 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 europe and you perform I, I remember watching those dj videos back in the day and it's like i was there i watched it live but when you watch it back on the video there's a lot more mistakes than you yeah really, absolutely you know what i mean <laughs> and then and i you know when you're choosing a winner of a competition mm. there's I feel like there has to be nowadays, there has to be two versions of it. There has to be like 
the theory and the practice. Like the goal uh, and watch the rewatch for yeah, the for yeah. the, <laughs> the rewatch for the know? judge like on yeah. a on a field for real. <laughs> on a soccer field and then for real. I can't say now I have to see the video. Yeah, proof. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just to see that the technical because people watch stuff more online than actually at the venues and on live stream. That's true. And there's also there was this big um, mistake once, like I think two years ago or some at the Australian Red Bull Freestyle. Right. And it was uh, the guy who won. And then there was DJ Wackett from Canada and he saw the video. Yeah. And then there was a the guy um, pre produced some of his stuff with scratches on it. No. On the performance, yeah. And then it was the needle was dropping off the record and <gasps> still the scratches were going on and he was putting it on. And oh, Wackett is like an eagle eye. He was like, what the fuck is this? And then, like, there was running around all, all world, everybody, like, how can this guy winning Australian championship with, you know, making what stuff? What does that tell you? Huh? So he, of course, he had to step off that and the second one once then. But, but it's still, that it's something like this happens because they haven't recognized. Mm -hmm. But on the, on the replay, everybody, like, What? So fuck. So you need that. A oh, big shame on him for fucking cheating. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it was pretty, <laughs> pretty awful yeah, to yeah. see this. Because <laughs> who knows how much extra was also prepared there. Mm -hmm. yeah, on the rest wonder. of the set, you don't know. But this one especially was, you saw it, and then the needles get out of the record. Like, <laughs> and he put it back. But in this time, it's like still mm. hardcore cutting over it. It makes you wonder. It makes you wonder what... We spoke about this yesterday as well, didn't we? That That... Technology in many other, in many positives is there mm -hmm. for enhancing a creative value, but I just feel, and I said this the other day on a podcast, I feel like DJing has all the components to advance itself in so many amazing ways. Yet, because there's so many people that are able to do it because it's just readily available, mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of created a neutral. It doesn't feel like the right. I don't know, it's so hard to put the technology into something that is so human, in it's an instinctual kind of thing, isn't it, being a DJ? Yeah, I mean, basically you should be a good performer if you're a DJ. Yeah. And not the Got jumping on table kind of DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the only person that can really get away with that is A-Track, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you can show and prove. Yeah. Because you're coming from the... From the Highest point of, of technical DJing. Yeah. So, of course, you can know. Yeah, you <laughs> throwing can, cakes if you yeah, want yeah, to. You can throw cakes, <laughs> throw boats, you know. <laughs> he's not doing it, actually. He's, uh, his uh, lockdown sessions, what he's doing. Yeah. He's doing a lot of uh, interesting, he's going experimenting, back. Yeah, that's right. technical stuff. Also yeah. with his uh, with Chromio, his cousin, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's still on top of the game not only because of the EDM that's because too but he yeah. also still got it yeah, that, yeah. That, that's an interesting part of yeah, the yeah. track yeah. and you have an, an, another one like this I guess like on, on this high ground at least high ground craze yeah but craze is not that it's huge no, in a, no no what I mean is just not that huge in the booking like mm. like in, in A-Track mm. Uh, so Atric filling up uh, Madison Square Garden. <laughs> alone. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Grace is technically all the, like like same level like Atric, yeah. like uh, still, yeah. and he's still doing crazy crazy routines and he's okay, think, yeah, he's amazing yeah. forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's never went better, you know. He's yeah, only yeah. better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know what you mean. Um, but and, and speaking to Craze on podcast, you know, he's like, yo, like these are older. Older cats like A Track is an old. Although he was young when he started, yeah. he's still technically he, he's in the same class as people that were of an, of the era, the golden era yeah, yeah. of turntablism. Yeah. Like, wh where are the stars of? N maybe that's just my interpretation because I remember that period, but the names, the 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 technical advances that from a human point of view, the superstars. Do you think there's a platform for them now, like that golden era had? Um, <laughs> no, nah, mm. there's. Uh, it's still a niche mm. again, but the, the niche became bigger. I mean, look, there's a portableism scene now. For example, this like they're all doing on small forty-five, that's right. like seven-inch records. So sick! Stretching. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're and right. It, actually, that's sick. And it reminds yeah. me on a skater scene. Yeah. Kind of from back, like like also the actual skater scene, I guess the same. But I I remember from back that they they had all those like customizing things, mm -hmm. like like all kinds can be customized on those turntables. Yeah, I like, love it. 
from the arms to the platters, extra knobs, lights. Yeah, yeah. They have bullets as uh, potties <laughs> or, or schools. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah, seen it. They have yeah. so much stickers on. And people are making their own brands as well, which is really cool as well. And like you say, modifying. Totally modding. It's it's a modding <laughs> scene. And, and they're basically just cutting with effects. And then, then there's a beat from from the iPhone, for example, on on a Bluetooth speaker. It's so sick. And they can sit. Then they make like drone videos sitting on cliffs, and it, yeah, it's like, <laughs> so yeah, it's yeah. a very very unique turntablism scene. It's, it's, it's a very unique niche in the turntable. So there's also like the crazy guys with the mm. with a whole studio full of equipment doing music mm. with turntables. But it makes more sense to me because with that restriction, and I say it all the time, with restriction comes creativity. They're imp they're implementing their own small box with their components that make what they want to do work and that creates their individuality. There's a whole market for Bluetooth faders. Crazy. <laughs> like, separate. A separate YouTube Bluetooth faders to putting on those... Mad. There's like, I don't know, five, six companies. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. And they all... They, they, each new model is better than the other kind of, like... You've just blown my mind, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You've just fucking blown my mind. No, but that's what I mean. It's so this is the future, really, isn't it? There's niches. It's all little niches. All together, there's a place then for that. That's incredible. And I think the portal risen scene is qu quite big now. Because I've, I've seen it. I've seen it too many times. Yeah. But I've never put to... See, this is how naive I am that's, to this. It's crazy, hardcore, nerdy, yeah. scratching. <laughs> I've never gone into the hole. But like yeah. when I, I have seen it uh, countless times on my Explore page... And I've just thought, well, that's just one brand. I didn't realize that there was components and characters within that, and they're making, they're building their own sets to spec. There's like three, four turntables out there, and it's like four, five new from independent companies in the making, even like to make this better and with 3D printed and all that. It's you like, have blown my mind. It is like there's something happening. For a while now, you know Richie Ruftone. Yeah. So he he's he's becoming the biggest seller of, of all this portalism stuff. He got his own store. Right, everybody, <laughs> he's, stop he's, this now. He's totally That's crazy. Into, he's totally onto that. He's, he's one of I'm the main, Richie, main guys crazy. there now. Really? Yeah. Scotland. Yeah, Richie yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking to my guy. <laughs> That's amazing, Richie. Um, yeah. There's a f uh, now. Who, Woody, DJ Woody. Yeah. Woody, Woody is uh, doing his own thing, the Woodwork Records, yeah, yeah. and. Uh, yeah, he's putting out constantly. Also he's a beast. Every, Woody, yeah, you're a beast, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he's still, and then he's putting out constantly records, uh, scratch records, or yeah. like a twelve, I think two, with yeah, stuff yeah. on it. He's a character. He would be, yeah. He'd be coming on the podcast. He's also old skater scene. Yeah, he's the whole. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's right. Good guy. Yeah, yeah. He's a good, <laughs> good, good man. Good man. Yeah, for real. Um, we could talk for fucking ever, but I know we've got to go and do a show in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's suddenly just dawning on me. He's like shit, um, brother. It's been a fucking pleasure. Absolute man. Thanks. OG, 20 years, baby. <laughs> it's exactly 20. Yeah. Then we released our first song together the, yeah. on a Battle of the Year soundtrack. That's right. Battle of the Year 2000. Um, we also did Can't Affect and Light My Fire. That was the, some other tunes we did. Yeah, but those other two came out. <laughs> mm, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then we want to tour that. That was a big... Uh, bro, like, when you think about how long ago that was, I can't believe you are in the same studio, the same house. Crazy. <laughs> oh. Berlin represent. Berlin, come on, man. The Mark Hype, bro. Thank you so much, my brother. Of course, man. All the time. All the time. Killer Keller podcast, once again, in and out like in was out of fashion, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. Hit all the buttons, all right? Big shout out to Graffiti Kings. We're out like that. Peace. Peace.